Now for something slightly different, we've got the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP. And this is, again, the application layer protocol, and this is for handling outbound email. So let's just talk about the operation. It's very simple, as the name in this case suggests. So first of all, we've got our client, and in this case, we're talking about the application, the email client, rather than a human or the laptop in general. We're just talking about the actual application that's sending the email. And this will be this will send the email in or in uh, this will send the email to a mail server, which will potentially run SMTP, and then this will be connected to the network that is the internet. Uh, it's a great graphic as always. So a server, a mail server that runs this protocol will have a database with users' email addresses linked to the DNS. So you've got a domain part of your email, as you know. So say this is a a Microsoft mail server. If you're sending to someone with at gmail.com, it will know where to send that. It will know the servers of Gmail because it will have this database was linked to the DNS. So it will be able to send it to other mail servers where um, the inbound email protocols work. Looking now at an inbound mail protocol, we have IMAP, which stands for Internet Message Access Protocol, and this works again at the application layer. So in this case, we've got mail coming from the internet to our email client via a mail server. And the way IMAP works is it keeps the client and the server in sync. This isn't necessarily the case, there's another protocol which is an alternative, which essentially once you download your email, it gets deleted from the server. This doesn't happen with IMAP. In case, instead, when you download an email, a copy is kept on the mail server that runs IMAP. So they're kept linked, they're kept in sync. So when you make a change on your client application, say you move your email to another folder, you mark it as read, and so on, the changes are kind of corroborated on the mail server, so they're kept linked together using this protocol. And so the only reason you'd ever manually the only reason you'd ever delete your email from the server is if you manually delete it on your client machine. So you, you get rid of email and it, it, it's updated on the server and it gets removed here too.